Hey everybody, it's Dominic at the Humble Factory and I am excited to talk to you about a new project. I wanted to just give you a really quick peek at this. Um, it's going to go live on Thingiverse or probably already is. Um, I'm giving a talk about it tonight at Seattle's Dorkbot. Uh, this is the SSG Tricorder. Uh, it is a mobile platform using Liquidware uh, modules with an Arduino Mega using a Skin Skeleton Guts um, cover and housing so it's durable, you throw it around, um, doesn't have any trouble and the coolest part is you can see here the exciting thing about this is that because you have a touch screen you can do um, all sorts of applications that have really flexible inputs. This is a really simple drawing application. The touch screen itself, the module has its own uh, Arduino system that you can upload code to and then the Mega can process signals and send them to here. There's also a, a button pad um, system. That's what these little sewn on buttons are, are meant for. So there's, a, there's buttons under there um, that are shown by the, um, by the sewing. So now you could take data from the Mega and pass it through and display it on the touch screen and then interact with it on the touch screen. So that's the first application that I want to do with this is to make a sort of um, maybe a UV detector or a, a, a thermal, uh, maybe kind of a, a thermal eye thing um, or even a, a VU meter that I can take volume levels, uh, walk around with a microphone and, and uh, check volume levels or something like that. Um, people have talked about maybe you could make a voltmeter, you can make all kinds of things. I mean, that's the idea is a tricorder de detects everything. And so the exciting thing about using the Arduino or the Mega as the, um, as the base is that you can add anything onto it that you want. You know, put whatever sensor you want to put on there. Put whatever suite of sensors you want to put on there. You've got plenty of pinouts left uh, to interface with that down at the bottom here um, that you could you could run another sensor board in that stack. Go on Thingiverse and check out the files. You can print the skeletal components um, on a MakerBot without any trouble. Uh, and the sewing for the skin is very simple. Um, I think there's going to be a template up there in the next couple of days, so be sure to check it out. This is Dominic at the Humble Factory signing off, guys. Take it easy.